You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Japan Crate for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Super excited to check out another monthly subscription box. Now, this one actually came in April with another box. I got double boxes, so I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, I will open it up and check it out. And thanks to Japan Crate for sending me this box to check out on video. There is a customs label on it, so it's come all the way from Japan. So let's see what's in this box. Are you ready for the unveiling? Here we go. Well, let me get the camera just a little bit further zoomed out there and here we go Whoosh. Ooh, let's see what we have this is volume number 23 now i remember in the last video i did not show you the magazine that comes this little booklet that comes with the subscription box and then oh there's everything that's in it so i've just spoiled that but at least we kind of get an overview and then they have other little fun little things to read and learn about. Information gathering, if you're into that, and learning more about Japan. Okay, there you go. And that is that. All right, so check it out. Lots of stuff in this box. And when I come back, I will be moving this out of the way, opening each item, and then giving them a taste. Mm, looks good. Okay, here we go, snack number one. Now this is, let's see what they say. These cute little strawberry cream filled wafers are perfect for sharing during the spring festival season. Look cute while doing it too, especially if you're into all things kawaii, like pink and strawberries. All right, now of course everybody kind of jokes at the name on this one, so I will leave it alone. It's of course pronounced differently in Japan than here in the United States, or you can decide. Decide on what you want there. Let's just take a look at the box, and that's what we're here for. It is definitely a bright pink box, and you see these little rounded, uh, almost like, uh, oh, I can't think of the snack here in the USA that's like the pretzel with the filling on the inside. I know it. It's at the tip of my tongue. But very much like that, you've got a nice yellow open there, so you know to open right there. And... They are individually packed. You have one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hidden way in there. And there's a nice bright metallic checkered pink packaging with the word cream and then C O L L O N. Now I'm pretty sure the L's are like R's or they roll differently off your tongue. Maybe like Korun or something like that. So don't. Uh, don't hold me to that. I am not a pronunciation wizard in any way. I'm here to eat, not argue over how things are pronounced. Okay, so as you can see now, it is a little wafer-like biscuit. I mean, uh, a little biscuit-like circular cookie with this pink filling. All right, let me just squish one. Okay, so they're pretty soft, easy to squish. Mmm, that's a nice light strawberry flavor. I wonder if I can get the center out of these. Hold on. You can almost just work it out by... Oh, well, there we go. That was not the easy way to do it. And then look at that. So it's kind of like a mushy here. I'm kind of losing it here. I don't have all my tools. Usually I'm pretty... Oh, wait, I can grab this one here. This will help. Here, this is better. Okay, now we got half. It's almost like a core sample from the earth. And it's a very soft, uh, creamy center. All right, what am I going to do with this? Here, I'll clean off the table. All right, let me get back on track here. The next one is this. It looked really interesting in the box. It was like, it reminded me of some kind of log or something like that. This is, it comes as a surprise that Fugashi are one of the most popular Degashi in Japan. I have no idea what I'm saying, but I have an idea what I'm looking at. It almost looks like a big cigar in some way. And the packaging color is, you know, more muted with the burgundies, the deep burgundies and the greens. Well, let's just do it. Here we go. Look at that. It's like a big 
<sighs> All right. From that one, <laughs> from this, hold on a second. From this to this. Okay. I just had to do it because I'm sure that's what you're all thinking. Now it's a crispy, puffy, I just got to bite it. Log-like structure with air pockets. It's like a giant Cheeto, but hmm, it's sweet and then it's got a flavor that I have no idea what it is. Let's see. Uh, nothing here. Oh, brown sugar. Glazed puff snack. It has a similar texture to corn puffs. It's actually pretty neat. Look at that. You hear that crackly sound as I press it? All right, bite it. Stop playing with my food and just eat it. All right, the next one. Ring cheese snacks. Okay. I got all kinds of little bowls. I might try to be as prepared as possible. I didn't have a cutting surface. That's kind of why I was a little off my game on that first one. Now these I've definitely had before. You can see it is cheesed flavor and it says cheese taste. Ooh, umai rings are bite-sized versions of Japanese national snacks, okay? Ooh, very strong, cheesy smell. Here again, another like puffy-like snack. There's so many puffy snacks. Mmm. That's gonna see, that's gonna tell me as close to a Cheeto flavor as possible. If I had them side by side, I would say they're pretty, pretty much the same. Maybe this one's a little cheesier, if that makes any sense. Cheesier, those are good. Mm -mm. All right, next, I got a mess going here. I can't find it. Oh, this one here. It's a cola snack. It looks like gum. Mm -mm. Let's see. Candy, it says. All right. Cola is the most popular and iconic flavor of gaburichu, a taffy like soft candy. Okay, so it's not gum. The refreshing taste of cola. Yeah. I really do like cola candies. Probably in my top from Japan. All the cola candies. Any cola candy. It tastes so good. Hmm. It looks like a form of a Tootsie Roll. But not as brown. And maybe two Tootsie Roll, two and a half Tootsie Rolls together. It's soft like a Tootsie Roll. It bends like a Tootsie Roll. Guess what it is. Look at that. I could twist it like putty. Here we go, bite. It's like you're taking, taking a sip of cola. Mm. All right, this next one, I believe I just had in a box. Really good cola flavor, nice and chewy. It's starting to break down. Okay, these are bite-sized versions of Yamagata Prefecture Regional Snack, ah, which is a mainstay during Japan's festival season. As for the taste, the flavor of the snack is comparable to the umami flavor of Okonomiyaka, but with a unique kick of kimchi. Like I said, if you want a linguistics lesson, then this would not be the video for you. If you want to look at a cool snack and packaging, look at that, then maybe you're in the right place. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Another little puffy snack. They're like little oddly shaped small squares, but puffy. Super crunchy and really good. Mmm, that one's good. 
got a little bite to it. There's a little heat to the back of my throat, which makes me advance to the next one. Why not bring in a drink? Ooh, it's got a little kick to it in the back. Mitsuya, Mitsuya Cider. Looks really neat and tasty. I do like different kinds of drinks as well. This one here is a kind of a, looks like lemony. You got a lot of green on it though on the can. Let's open it up, let's pour it in. I don't see any lumps coming out. Remember I've had some of these with big chunky lumpy things in it. Mmm, kind of like a 50-50, like a lemony. Okay, so now you've seen that, I could take that off the list. But I'll leave it here. Let's move this out of the way. This big bag. Looks like a vanilla chocolatey kind of cookie. Shimmy Choco Corn. Hmm. Interesting. The front is very rich and chocolate looking with a brownish bottom and a yellow fade. There's all the any technical information if you wish to read that. Let me get a bowl. There's a lot here, so I have to move quickly. Okay. So what I'm guessing is the yellow is the corn part. This is the chocolate part, and they've merged into this. Now it looks like a little claw, but it's a star. One, two, three, four, five point with a hole in the center. Mmm. Nice, sweet, chocolatey taste. Not too strong. Let me see if I can show you the inside. That's what it looks like on the inside. So very airy, puffy kind of snack. Lots of puffy snacks. All right, while I munch on that one, they had one of these kits, or I've done one of these kits recently, and I will do this in a future video. It looks like I'm making shapes with little chocolate cones and then making this little stand, it looks like an ice cream stand or some kind of snack stand. So this will be in a future video so I can move on to the next one. This one I have had before, it's a little tiny puff with Hello Kitty on it. Here, I can get this one out of the way. And then there is, looks to be like chocolate in there. Something inside, oh, Choco, it says right there. It's very nicely colored. It's almost a ring, almost a rainbow, but a ray of colors. Oh wait, there's more there. It says Hello Kitty. Let me just cut this and get right into it. Sorry, Hello Kitty. Okay, let me just cut this again. Very soft and pillowy like. And then it's got some kind of, ooh, they're like eyeballs looking at you now. When you cut it open, you've got that chocolate in the middle. And I'm squishing. It's very creamy. It's almost like a fudge in the center. I gotta eat the whole thing now. Okay, a marshmallow, creamy, really nice taste. Next one. Now this looks like corn on the cob in the picture. And then you've got a fiery kind of flame in the corner. And then these twists. Hard to explain what they look like. There's five little sections in there. Yeah. Kind of like fingers with extra digits. Right, here we go. Fingers with extra digits. How would you explain this one? The smell came out almost like cream corn. If you've opened a can of cream corn and gone, that's what it smelled like. And let's see. Super crunchy, as you can tell. Ooh, really nice corn taste. I'm running out of room. Okay, very nice. Nice crispy corn snack. If you like eating the little hard corn kernels, it's very similar, you'll like that. All right, this one is a flat one. There it is. Uh-oh, this says wasabi. Oh no, it doesn't. Wow, 
Is that a W? Wasabanuri? What is that? Dried fish. Popular throughout the year in Japan is yet another popular festival snack. This is wasabi and seaweed flavor. One is sweet and salty with a very mild fish taste. I really like the packaging. The little character here. It looks like he's singing. I can't... There's little notes there. Eight notes. Let's see. Let's just cut the end off and go for it. It's like a flat sheet. It's almost like a fruit, fruit roll up, but it's sticky. It looks like a grain of wood, doesn't it? Like you just put some shellac on a piece of wood and all the grains running up and down. Smell wise, definitely fishy. I'll give it a shot. Okay. I'm trying to rip through it. It's harder than beef jerky. Wow. Hmm. What stands out the most is the fish flavor, but there is heat. When you eat wasabi, that heat goes up into your nasals. That's what's happening. I would probably finish that. Just because it's unique. Alright, the drink I tried. This is not the cider like you find in America. Cider in Japan refers to a clear soda that is often described as a hybrid between ginger ale, the commercial kind, and Sprite. Hmm, yeah, I said 50-50, but I guess I could see that. Alright, next one. I'm running out of things. I don't know where it is. Oh, here it is. Well, no, I don't see the bag for the next one. Okay, I must have done something out of order. Ah, this must be a replacement because it's not on the list. And I've had that one recently, I think. Let's see. Okay, so here's what I have left. I'll show you what I have left. This is all the stuff that's unopened. And they don't really tell you what this is. Oh, a bonus. It's a stationary kit. Okay, so this is everything I have not tried. Okay, we're good. Let me just open these. I've had these. They're like a Cheeto type. But it is a caramel corn crunchy snack. Looks like little larva. And we'll see. Let's get the crunch. Here we go. It's a soft puffy flavor. Just like it says, caramel corn. I like it. This almost looks like a soup packet, but I think this is the little, looking at the pack, you could just eat them as a snack. See this little character with the blue hair? Eat it with a snack or pour it, put it with your hot soup, because that's what they kind of show here. This deserves at least a look, huh? All right. Yes, that's what it looks like, and it's got little, there's like a little bit of green flavoring or specks on it. These are going to be crunchy. Mm. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Like a little crunchy noodle that you'd put on a soup to kind of give it a little extra texture there. All right, let's see. This is some kind of strawberry roll, it said. A roll cake. Roll cakes are super, oh, let me read this one, by the way. You may have tried ramen snacks, but have you tried udon ones? These udon noodles. Okay, so that's what they are. They're dried udon noodles. For snacking straight out of their package, you have a soy sauce and dashi soup flavor. It does. Really good. This one. Roll cakes are super kawaii. I like the cream. Strawberries are the classic emblem of cuteness as far as good as food goes. All right. Let's see this cuteness here. Okay, so it's a little flatter than I was thinking. That picture really shows a nice rounded roll. This has probably been pushed around in the package. It's like a soft pound cake on the outside with a strawberry filling rolled up. Mm. Nice strawberry flavor. There is no crunch or anything like it. 
in that snack, so it's very soft. All right, this is the Pokemon, it looks like, card set. Let's see. Oh, Pokemon sticker gums. Each piece of gum comes with a special sticker. Be sure to catch them all. Let's see. That's the one thing about this box is that it's not just candy and snacks. You get a drink, and you can get cool stuff like this. Sticker set. A stationary kit, so you get extra bonus items and the gum. I've had that gum numerous times. It's a very soft gum. Let's just take a quick look at the stationary piece here. That's the bonus item. Let's see, what does it say? One of six. Okay, so there's one of six potential stationary sets. Okay, so you get the nice paper. And then... You get a, a bonus sticker sheet with all of these characters. I have characters. One peg. It's from one peg. That must definitely be the character. And then two envelopes that you can mail something in. And this back has the address and the stamp location. Okay. I'm not sure if that'll work in the USA. I've never seen it like that. On the back. All right, let me bring some things out here. Let me bring all the bowls out because... I pretty much put everything in bowls, so you can kind of get an idea the colors and variations of snacks. Let's move some of this out of the way. See, look at all the bowls. Look at that. If I put all these out as snacks, and uh, just like that, and little sampler bowls, that would be pretty cool. Let me put a few more of these out. You got these. These are the little strawberry ones. Okay. Oops, some of these fell out already. Let's fill this bowl. Doesn't look like a nice little collection of snacks. Some of these. All right, where's this one? Oh, no, not there. Oh, there it is. There's not, it's a smaller bag, so there's not a lot to put in there. But I think you get the idea. All right. That's a nice little picture. Maybe I'll make that my thumbnail. So you can see all the snacks and bowls and then my drink. Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. Started off a little funny, then went to this, which made it even funnier, I think, for snacks anyway. And of course you saw all the cool stuff. And thanks again to Japan Crate for sending me this bonus box this month. And thanks for watching. And hope you enjoy the videos. Hope you got this far to the end. If you did, leave me a comment. Give the video a thumbs up if you can. And if you're not subscribed, please do. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.